You clicked on this video, so don't leave just yet. You wanted to know what my SAT and my GPA and all my score that got me into UC Berkeley. So before you click away, I'm gonna tell you right here is my SAT. Here is my GPA. Here is my IB scores. And over here is my TOEFL scores. Bye. <laughs>For those who are actually sticking around, I guess I can kind of explain my scores, even though they're pretty self-explanatory. My SAT score was a 1360, I took it twice, I got a 1360 the first time, a 1300 the second time. My scores aren't good, and my GPA is a 3.9 unweighted, but I didn't exactly take a GPA system, I took the IB diploma system. Basically, if you don't care, you can skip ahead, but basically another system where you take six classes over the course of two years, and at the end of the second year, you have a series of exams, that test those two years and you get a score out of those exams and out of 45 to apply in November we don't really have any scores except for the ones that we've taken in class up to that date the school gives us a predicted score what they think you're gonna get in the real exams in my case was greatly very off uh, because I got a predicted score of a 42 out of 45 and in the end I got a 36 out of 45 because for those international students that are watching, my TOEFL score was a 110 out of 120. Basically just means that I can somewhat speak English. I guess tips on stats, just work hard in high school, get the best grades you can. But I would say don't focus too much on getting the best grades because I think you reach a certain point where it doesn't matter if you're getting a 3.9 or 4.0 or a 1570 or 1590 or even a 1540 for that matter. I think when you reach a point where getting a better score isn't going to increase your chances of admissions and that's where extracurriculars come in. So my main extracurricular is swimming. I've been swimming for as a general overview, I'm four-time Spanish junior national champion, Pennsylvania state champion when I was sophomore in high school. That's my swimming stats. I also play the violin and piano since I was six and seven years old. And I participated in a bunch of clubs as well. Executive of an international people's club. I founded my school's ping pong club. I was part of the civic orchestra and their string ensemble. Those are my extracurricular activities, which are very stereotypical. My tip here, I guess, if I have to give a tip, is that it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you have something that you're really passionate about. Make sure that missions officers know you're really passionate about this stuff. And if you're really passionate about it as well, how many times have I said passionate already? It will show in your application. and it show in what you do. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. One of the stories that if you have something that you're really interested in, you, you, then in your application you want to show that. Let's go on to essays. This is going to be short because I'm not going to read my essays. I'll link a Google Doc of my essays if you want to read them in the description below the like button. Basically, summary of what my essays were about. I wanted to sell three aspects of my personality to the admissions officer and that was I am a good swimmer, determined, that's the thing. I play music and I have somewhat decent academics even though that is basically what I try to avoid. So in my essays I basically sell those three parts that I wanted to sell about my personality and made sure the admissions officer knew about those three key aspects that I thought was important in my application. If I have to give tips for essays is that pick the questions that will let you be able to sell certain aspects of your personality that you want to sell. Don't talk about the same thing in every single four questions and yeah. Don't worry too much about the application. Really, there are a lot of important stuff going on in the world right now, and I think it's important that you guys stay safe, stay healthy. If you have any questions, you can DM me on Instagram. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. I will be responding to every single one of your comments. You can leave anything you want. Even if you want to tell me that my hair looks bad, then I'll be sure to roast you as well. I hope you have a great day. Bye. I was in the city, they were talking that shit. Had the homies with me all of a sudden, they split. We ain't even worried, we just laughing, that's rich. You know how it goes, it ain't broke, don't fix. Hey,